So remember when Marvel couldn't say the word mutant? Now there's mutants everywhere. Namor's a mutant, Kamala Khan's a mutant. Uh, anywhere you look in the MCU, mutants are showing up. And that's a good thing. It's gonna open up a ton of new story possibilities. All that's fine and good, but where are the X-Men in their own movie? Ever since Disney purchased 20th Century Studios, only two things have been on the minds of MCU fans. When are we gonna see the Fantastic Four and the X-Men? As it stands right now, we know a Fantastic Four movie is on the way, coming November 8, 2024, with Matt Shankman directing. We've seen a version of Mr. Fantastic and Doctor Strange in Multiverse of Madness, but plans for the X-Men are, at this point, kind of non-existent. Uh, we've seen Patrick Stewart appear as Professor X this year, giving us hope that a lot more are on the way. We've had the surprising revelation in the season finale of Ms. Marvel that Kamala Khan has a mutant gene. Well, not called that as a mutant in She-Hulk, El Aguila, who appeared in the Retreat episode, is one in the comics. And that's it for mutants on screen so far. A recent interview with Empire Magazine, Tanal Cuerta confirmed that Namor will be a mutant in Black Panther Wakanda forever. Uh, this isn't a big surprise, as he's been a mutant in the comics for decades now, but it's another confirmation of more mutants coming. And the recent announcement that Wolverine is going to appear in Deadpool 3 in the film is set in the MCU, things are definitely moving ahead. But what's the overall plan for mutants? I think, I think a lot of where the X-Men stories go, it's going to be based around how they're finally introduced into the greater MCU. With the concept of the multiverse and incursions of other realities, how they recently been introduced, there's a lot of ways for them to appear. Without those ideas, we'll definitely have to question where these powerful beings have been hiding out when things such as the endgame fight with Thanos was going on. With the idea that they somehow cross over from another dimension, looking at the current plans for Phase 5, I don't see them appearing anytime soon. Deadpool 3 set for September 6, 2024, putting it in Phase 6, looking at that schedule, it appears that may be the first project out of that phase. The event films of the King Dynasty and Secret Wars happening in 2025, which is though x will probably make the big film debut before then, so they can partake in those larger fights. The question has become, though, what story will they tell? The MC was demonstrated multiple times, they're willing to skip over your traditional origin stories. Marvel Studios trust the audiences, sort of come along for the ride, so they needed to see Peter Parker's full origin story, for example. There have been multiple X-Men movies already that have covered how the team come together under Professor Xavier, so I'm thinking they're just gonna skip over that whole thing and just launch into a main story. If Marvel Studios want to do something a bit more predictable, uh, they could set up how hated mutants are, the 1986's Mutant Massacre storyline. The storyline followed a villain named Mr. Sinister, a mad scientist, employing mutant mercenaries known as the Marauders to kill certain mutants. The storyline that establishes a lot of the inner workings of the mutant communities, and how they very clearly aren't all on the same page, without retreading some of the same storylines we've already seen. One storyline we do not need to see again, though, is the Dark Phoenix storyline. Let that one rest. We've seen it. Bring it back in a decade or so. With some mutants already running around, we just need a more familiar faces making their presence known in the MCU. They have decades worth of storylines to pull from, and we have yet to see any of them on screen. Just hoping that Marvel Studios pick something unexpected to finally do with it.